Now that you're ready to use your Bullet Blender homogenizer, I'm going to go over some tips for preparing tough samples to be homogenized. Tough samples may be hard or rubbery. They're difficult, or in the case of mouse femur, impossible to cut with a knife, blade, or scissors. Examples of tough tissue include tumor, stomach, skin, or tail snip. The BBX24 and BBY24 model bullet blenders homogenize samples inside of microcentrifuge tubes. The maximum recommended sample size is 300 milligrams. Many samples, such as certain types of mouse organs, can be run whole inside of the instrument. Other samples need to be cut up into smaller pieces. We recommend cutting samples into long, thin strips because this shape will homogenize more efficiently than cube-shaped or square samples. Today we're going to homogenize mouse femur and mouse heart, both of which can be homogenized whole. First, place the sample in the bottom of the tube. Don't stuff it in there because you want the tissue to be able to move around. Second, add your beads to the sample. The 0.9 to 2.0 millimeter stainless steel blend is a great bead to use for tough samples. If your sample is very hard, as is the case with mouse femur, add several 3.2 millimeter stainless steel beads. I recommend using a volume of beads that is close to the volume of your sample. If you would like to add beads by mass instead of volume, add a mass of stainless steel beads that is at least three times the mass of your sample. Always check out the protocols on our website, www.nextadvance.com, for more specific information. Finally, add the reagent or buffer that you would like to homogenize your samples in. We recommend using a volume of buffer equal to twice the volume of your beads. For example, if you used 100 microliters of beads, add 200 microliters of buffer. Alternatively, to save time and still get great results, you can use the Next Advanced Bead Lysis Kits to homogenize your samples. Here is a green kit tube, which is used for tough samples that are under 50 milligrams. If your tough samples are over 50 milligrams, use a navy kit tube. Load your samples into the tube and add a volume of buffer equal to twice the volume of beads that you are using. Now it's time to make sure that your tubes are sealed tightly and place them evenly spaced inside of the bullet blender. I have six samples loaded. I'm going to set the speed to eight and the time to five minutes. Close the lid and press start. Examine your samples. If you see unhomogenized pieces, place them back in the bullet blender and homogenize for another minute or two at speed 10. These samples are fully homogenized. You can now proceed with your downstream application.